this is Christoph van Tomme and in this demo movie I'm going to show you a current progress with uh, Dita Drupal integration uh, that we're working on. Um, in the last movie uh, I showed you uh, a potential interface, a potential user interface for working with uh, Dita in Drupal and um, how you could use mind maps to build um, Dita maps basically and then um, do stuff with that. Now we've actually implemented um, most part of that, um, at least uh, to a first um, really basic um, uh, demo version, and um, and that's what I'm going to show you today. First, um, we're going to be creating um, a DTAP topic for which we have this very basic content type where you can just paste a DTAP topic. This is one of the IBM um, example data topics. Just paste that there. Now, um, one thing you for the people that know Drupal, the title is missing. That's because we're going to be parsing that straight from the document. Like you see, um, title is tools. You'll see later that that's going to be parsed. Uh, for the data people, you see that we've got here something strange. Uh, these are these are vocabularies, and we're using that to play a little fancy trick uh, that I'm going to be explaining a bit later. Um, so first of all, this is a concept and tools. Let's give that to tools yeah, term and uh, tools. And, uh, tools are normally in garages, so let's also add garage. So when you go and save that, um, Dita will go and validate. Uh, Drupal will validate um, the input against the DTD that we've supplied it, and uh, voila. So it was valid. And you see that it's been tagged with concept, garage, and tools. I've um, done the same for a couple of other um, topics. You can see here. See, there's loads of them that are tagged with garage. Um, so we're going to create a data map. A test. I'll just simply call it. Uh, we're going to leave that open. Save. And when you save, it calls the GraphMinds mind map editor, test map or something. And um, I'm going to add two topic heads, one for concepts and one for tasks, because we had the concepts and tasks before. And, uh, and now comes the magical part. Um, because this is not just a mind map, this is uh, GraphMind. And GraphMind has um, uh, a service integration with the Drupal site in which you run it. Uh, you can also set it up to have a service integration with other Drupal sites, um, so you can add different connections. That could be a potential way to do uh, a distributed data map generation system where you pull down uh, topics from other sites and include them into uh, your local data map. We, we can use these Drupal services to add a Drupal item, for example, a node, and then you could say oh, number 13, submit, and we'll go and fetch oil, the topic that I was looking at. I'm going to remove that again, because I'm going to be using views to pull in uh, only those topics that are tagged with a certain keyword. And uh, the way we're going to do that is using Views. Views is a really, really cool Drupal module that's basically a graphical interface for building um, database queries. And um, it allows you to set things like filters. So like here we're filtering on only data documents, if it's published or not, and arguments. Arguments are things that let you, after building a query, uh, reduce the amount of results that you're getting. And here I've set it up so that I'm going to use a taxonomy argument, so I'm going to be filtering on keywords. So when I save that, um, then in, um, in the data map, we can use the add views list. Now, and here you see the data topics view that we've just built or that was built before. Um, and we can set arguments. And one of the arguments that I'm going to set is concept. Because you remember we had um, some of the nodes, three of the nodes were tagged with concept. When you submit that, it will go and fetch those. Those are the ones, tools, and concept, oil, and garage. They were all three concepts. I'm going to do the same for tasks. Argument task. Oh. Okay, 
Now we can we can still um, do some fancy drag and drop here, and um, and we save. So we've saved. Now when you go into data map view, you can see the data map that was built with that. Okay, but what we really after is the export function. Basically, what we've done. Uh, so we've built an integration for the uh, Dita Open Toolkit um, uh, with Drupal. So we've got a, a Drush uh, script that will do some, some fancy stuff like uh, pulling down the concepts and the Dita map and then run the Dita Open Toolkit on that. Um, you remember I was talking to you about um, setting the relationships? This is how we do it. So basically in the, the export you can define what vocabulary you want to use to build uh, the uh, RHEL table uh, for your data map. Um, so we're going to export a PDF, we're going to use the data test vocabulary which had things like garage and oil. Um, and um, this, is, this is something that I have to do to, to get the output. Let's see, demo is empty right now. So, and we're first going to output to XHTML and export. Now, what is done now is it scheduled the conversion. Um, right now, we haven't integrated yet with uh, Chrome. We still have to run the Drush commands manually, but uh, that's something that we can easily put into Chrome at a later point. You see, there's a bunch of things that have been added. And now, if we go to our index file, see that we've built our map um, and it's it's mirroring the map that we've built. You remember the oil that we put that, uh, let's show you as a child, okay. So we go and look, um, you see the related tasks, that's from the RHEL table. Now the next thing I want to show is the um, export to PDF, that it also works. It's PDF2, um, also do the RHEL table, although that's not really relevant here, and export. I run Drush again. Yep, now when we go looking, there's a new directory. There's a file there, PDF file. Okay, so we're going to go to that directory. Now, um, obviously, since this is a first uh, demo, like in once this is ready, you're not going to have to go in command line to find this stuff. Okay, and we got a PDF file, and when you open it, you got contents, concepts, tasks, and there you go. That's our output. So, um, as you can see, we've got um, a basic implementation where which you can use mind maps um, to build data maps that then uh, can, uh, through the open toolkit, uh, generate PDFs, XHTML, and um, also uh, HTML help. And um, um, that's as far as we got so far. Uh, if, if you're uh, interested in this kind of project, if you have a project where you would like to be able to generate uh, subsets of documentation uh, from a Drupal interface through a mind map, uh, get in touch. Uh, we've got plenty of other ideas. Okay, thank you.